Representative Duncan Hunter fought in the Battle of Fallujah in early 2004, and he is outraged over the al-Qaeda takeover that threatens to undo. Much of what he and his fellow Marines accomplished before they withdrew in 2011, he is with us now, Representative Duncan Hunter, who is a Marine veteran of not just the war in Iraq, but also Afghanistan. So let me just start with you, Representative Hunter, on where I left off with Brit, on the Gates, the Mr. Gates matter, and then we'll get to Iraq. Um, because I understand, you know, Brit's point about the president saying, he doesn't necessarily believe in the strategy, but he's you know, sort of committed to this is the war he's going to see through. But, but do you see something extraordinary in the commander-in-chief, according to Mr. Gates, being skeptical, if not outright convinced, that that strategy he was sending men like you in to fight would fail? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not surprised. And we, what you see here, what I see here is a, a political squandering of military victories and an abandonment by this administration of everything that we did in I, Iraq, in, in Fallujah, Ramadi, Basra, Baghdad, all these different places where we fought, where we killed terrorists, where we set the people free, where we got the people on our side in the Sunni Triangle, uh, Fallujah, after, after the uh, surge in 2007. I, I was there in 2004, in, in April of 2004, but in, after the, uh, the big surge, Fallujah was a relatively peaceful place. So was Ramadi. It, was, it, it had transformed because the people finally had freedom. They were able to vote. We had the local sheikhs on our side. And what you had going forward to 2010, when President Obama refused to get a status of forces agreement with the Iraqis, this is point B, that is point A. What, what he did, his abandonment of uh, Iraq led directly to al-Qaeda al taking over what the Marines and the Army had, had cleared and, and what we had set up and what we had helped with the Iraqis. The president, by, by failing to get a status of forces agreement, because it was the bad war, he didn't want anything to do with it, for probably purely political reasons, I, I think, he abandoned it, and, and here's what we have. And this is a direct correlation, point A, point B. Here's where we are. Al-Qaeda now, now controls what we fought so hard to free. Mm -hmm. I know that there are a lot of, and we're talking about Iraq now, so we've switched over from Iraq, Afghanistan to Iraq. But I know that a lot of veterans who fought in Iraq and to, to help secure these cities are wondering tonight, because it's been reported now, uh, what, what did we fight for? What did we lose our, our, our comrades for? Uh, if now we leave and al-Qaeda, al-Qaeda is flying its flags uh, on atop these cities. But on the other hand, Representative Hunter, the American people wanted to get out of Iraq by large numbers when President Obama took over, and he, he got us out of Iraq. And so it, and we're not, no one's necessarily talking about sending people back into Iraq now, but the question is whether we, we withdrew too early and in the right way. I mean, a lot of Americans out there watching this tonight say maybe it wasn't perfect, but we got out. If we we won in Iraq. My dad wrote a book called Victory in Iraq. My dad was a congressman, too, and he was chairman of the Armed Services Committee while the, the war was going on. He wrote a book called Victory in Iraq, How America Won the War. We had won the war by, by 2010. This president left for purely political reasons. If, if we had left 10 or 20,000 troops there, like we have every other war zone that, that we've been involved in, uh, except for Vietnam, so let's say post-Vietnam, this would not be happening whatsoever. So what this president did was abandon everything that we, that, that we fought for, because I, Iraq could not sustain itself without some American involvement. It would be like leaving Afghanistan right now. And sometimes it's not the most popular choice, but I think that, that this uh, president has shown that he does things purely for political reasons. This president has not only abandoned Iraq, he's abandoned the Middle East, Megan. He's, he's out of everywhere. There, this is a juvenile foreign policy president when it comes to hard-nosed foreign policy in the Middle East. This, this administration are like little children. And, and so what we have then is, I was over there uh, fighting, my Marines were over there fighting, and what do we have now? Nothing to show for it because of political reasons, not because we didn't win, but purely political reasons. And God bless all the men and women who spent time in Iraq and fought there. Duncan Hunter, thank you, sir. We appreciate it.